The CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle was developed by BAE Systems Haglunds of Sweden and first entered service in 1992. It is in service with the militaries of Denmark, Finland, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Sweden, and Switzerland. The CV-90 has a crew of three, driver, commander, and gunner, and can transport up to six fully equipped infantrymen. The vehicle is armed with a 40mm automatic cannon and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It is also equipped with grenade launchers, anti-tank missiles, and smoke grenade launchers. The CV-90 has a top speed of 70 km slash Abe and a range of 500 km. The CV-90 was designed to provide superior protection for its occupants while still being able to engage enemy targets effectively. The hull and turret are made of steel and composites which provide protection against small arms fire and shell fragments. The vehicle is also equipped with an NBC nuclear, biological, chemical protection system. The CV-90 has been constantly updated since its introduction, and the latest version features a new engine, improved suspension, increased armor protection, and a new weapon system. The CV Infantry Fighting Vehicle is a highly capable and versatile platform that can be configured for a wide range of missions and applications. It is equipped with a variety of tools and features that allow it to perform its duties effectively in any operational environment. Some of the key features and capabilities of the CV Infantry Fighting Vehicle include Armored Protection the CV Infantry Fighting Vehicle is designed to provide a high level of protection for its occupants. It is equipped with armor plating that can withstand small arms fire, shrapnel, and other threats. Weaponry The CV Infantry Fighting Vehicle is armed with a variety of weapons that can be used to engage enemy targets at close range or from a distance. It is equipped with machine guns, grenade launchers, and anti-tank missiles. Mobility the CV Infantry Fighting Vehicle is highly mobile and maneuverable. It is equipped with tracks that allow it to traverse rough terrain and cross obstacles. Communications The CV Infantry Fighting Vehicle is equipped with advanced communication systems that allow it to maintain contact with friendly forces during operations. The CV-90 is a third-generation IFV that was developed by Sweden in the early 1990s. It was designed to replace the aging BV-202 tracked vehicle and to provide the Swedish Army with a modern, reliable and combat-proven IFV. The CV-90 entered service with the Swedish Army in 1997 and has since been exported to several other countries, including Denmark, Finland, Norway, Switzerland and the Netherlands. The CV-90 was designed from the outset to be a highly mobile and well-protected fighting vehicle. It is armed with a 40mm auto cannon as its primary weapon and can carry up to eight infantrymen in its spacious and well-armored hull. The vehicle is powered by a Volvo turbocharged diesel engine that gives it outstanding cross-country performance. The CV-90 has seen action in a number of conflicts, including the Kosovo War, the war in Afghanistan, and the Iraq War. It has proven itself to be a highly capable fighting vehicle in these conflicts, providing its crews with good protection against small arms fire and mines slash IEDs. The CV-90 has also been praised for its excellent mobility and reliability. The CV-90 is a highly versatile and adaptable platform that can be configured for a variety of missions and roles. The CV-90 is well suited to operating in urban environments and mountainous terrain and has proved itself to be a reliable and effective fighting machine. The CV-90 is a tracked vehicle with a high-performance diesel engine that gives it excellent cross-country mobility. It is well armed with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher and 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun. The CV-90 can also be fitted with anti-tank missiles and laser-guided bombs. It has good armor protection against small arms fire and mines. The main disadvantage of the CV-90 is its high cost. It is also heavier than most other IFVs, which limits its deployability on airlift missions. Another drawback is that its turret cannot be traversed when the vehicle is moving, which limits its ability to engage targets to its frontal arc only. 
When it comes to the CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle, there are a few alternatives that nations have adopted for their armed forces. One such vehicle is the BMP-3 from Russia, which is in service with over 20 countries. Another popular alternative is the M2 Bradley from the United States, which has been in service since 1981. For European countries, the Leopard 2A6 from Germany is also a popular choice. The CV-90 Infantry Fighting Vehicle is an excellent choice for a modern-day armed force. Its mix of firepower, mobility, and protection makes it ideal for a wide variety of battlefields and terrains, allowing it to effectively engage both conventional forces and asymmetric threats. Additionally, its advanced features such as the hunter-killer mode make it incredibly versatile, giving it the ability to respond quickly in any situation. This makes CV-90 an invaluable asset to any country's military arsenal.